So recently I've been on a mission to reduce my overall screen time across the board, which means reducing the time I spend on my cell phone, uh, my PC, and also binge watching television. And while it was easy to get applications which is tracking your app usage across your cell phone and your PC, it was kind of difficult to find an app which does the same thing for your smart TV. Until I came across an app called TV Usage. And in my opinion, this app has to be one of the best apps ever developed for a parent who wants to have a parental control over their smart TV. So not only does this app capture the duration for which the apps are running on your television, it also gives you the authority to lock or block any or all applications, allow them to run for a particular duration, or allow them to run on a particular time schedule depending on your choice. So if you're a parent and you need some assistance or help in curbing your child's uh, TV viewing habits, this app might very well be for you. My name is Saish Gavas and welcome to the 8-Bit Cohen. So this app is available on Google Play Store, so you can just go ahead and search for TV usage uh, on your TV and you should be able to download it for free. So once you install this app, you'll actually be prompted to grant access or special access for this application. One is to uh, access the viewing uh, usage of other applications and second is the battery optimization. So you need to disable uh, the second and to enable the first. And then you need to go ahead and set up a code which will be allowed or used to override any kind of control. So at any given point of time, you have a, a lock which is presented by this application. You can override it by this code. So obviously this code will be with you and not with uh, your kids. And now we can go ahead and open the app. As you can see, the UI is very clean and simple. I really liked it. Uh, it gives you a spread of all the applications which you have installed on your television. It also gives you a particular uh, number which is basically signifying the minutes for which the app has run for the day. On the top left, it shows you the app which is run for the longest duration for that particular day. Below that, it gives you uh, the TV setting. So from the TV setting, you can actually control your entire television. It, uh, any control which has been applied to the TV is going to be the control applied across the board. So if you want, you can apply a universal control for the TV itself. Or if you want, you can go ahead into each app and go ahead and uh, apply control individually uh, as well. Say, for instance, Netflix or YouTube, uh, you can go ahead and apply separate controls as per your needs. And since we're on the topic of controls, let's go ahead and have a look at them as well. So this app gives you quite a few controls right out of the box. However, to keep this video simple, I'll go ahead and divide this section into four parts. One is the control basis, the viewing schedule. Second is basis, the time duration. Third is the break schedule. And fourth is the, the app locking and blocking. So let's go ahead with the viewing schedule first. So what this control basically does is actually gives you the authority to set a particular schedule for any particular app or the TV itself. So say for instance, I want Netflix to be allowed from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. only on a daily basis. I can easily go ahead and set this up um, and with a few clicks, I have already set a particular time schedule for Netflix. So it's going to run only from 5 to 7 uh, uh, on a daily basis. And after that, it's just going to uh, give you give me a pop up message saying that it is blocked by the TV usage application. Another good thing here is that these controls are extremely customizable. Now, say, for instance, I want Netflix to run from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, on a weekday. However, on weekends, I want it to run from 9 a.m. say to 7 p.m. So I can actually combine two schedules very easily uh, by going ahead and actually selecting Sunday and Saturday and I can say that it runs from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. and on weekdays from Mondays to Friday it runs from uh, you know 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. So once this control is active on Netflix if I go ahead and try to open it outside the window it will give me a pop-up saying that it is not allowed to open and th at this point of time uh, and I will be actually prompted to you know add 10 minutes or add 15 minutes or end uh, add for the rest of the day and then I will need to add that code which you said at the beginning so you have a flexibility to override it as well so this control is slightly different from the viewing schedule in this uh, the app actually checks for the duration or allows a particular app to run for a predefined duration it doesn't check for a time schedule so say for instance I want YouTube to run for uh, probably one hour on a day-to-day -day basis then I can go ahead and actually uh, allow uh, the app to put a control on YouTube 
uh, for every day to run only for one hour and beyond that uh, it's going to give me a pop-up saying that you know it is locked just like the viewing schedule however this is counting the duration and just like the viewing schedule control the duration control also is very customizable so you can have uh, youtube running from for one hour on a weekday from mondays to fridays and saturdays to sunday i want it to run probably say 10 hours so i can go ahead and set it up that way very easily and uh, again once it hits uh, the, the the limit it's going to give me a lock uh, the tv usage lock and i can override it with uh, uh, the passcode just like the viewing schedule So this control is basically to curb your binge watching habits. Now say for instance you like to watch Netflix for hours together, you can actually go ahead and set a schedule saying that you know after every 50 minutes I want to take a 10 minutes break. So you can go ahead and set it in such a way that after 50 minutes is going to give a pop-up saying that you know it's locked for 10 minutes and you can go ahead and uh, you know just have a glass of water or walk around or whatever it is or take a break basically. So as the name suggests, you basically have the authority to lock or block any kind of application. The difference between lock and block is that once you lock an application, you can unlock it by using the four digit code. But if you block an application, you flat out are not allowed to open the application at all. Now along with the TV usage app on your television, there's also a companion app called remote for your cell phone. What this app allows you to do is basically remotely control your television to an extent. Say for instance, I want to lock or unlock my TV, I can go ahead and do that. Also, say for instance, I have Netflix locked and someone at home is trying to unlock it and doesn't know the password, I can actually get a prompt on my cell phone and I can go ahead and unlock it, which I think is fantastic because now I don't need to be at home to unlock or I don't have to give my passcode to somebody who is trying to connect my or open an application at home. Another good thing here is that if I have a TV usage account, I can actually log in to TV usage on multiple devices, say on one on the bedroom and one in the living room. I can go ahead and install TV usage and log in with that account and I can link that with my cell phone and I can swap between both these TVs. So anytime I get a request from the living room TV or bedroom TV, I can go ahead and conveniently uh, allow or uh, disallow any kind of request, which is fantastic. So I also went ahead and checked the accuracy of this application to see if it's capturing the correct amount of time spent on each application. And surprisingly, it was doing a fantastic job. Uh, it was not off by much. I watched Netflix, YouTube, and I think Amazon Prime for five minutes each, and it pretty much uh, right out of the box captured five minutes uh, for two applications and four minutes for one application, which is great. So this app is available for free on Google Play Store. The free version allows you to only see your uh, daily viewing statistics for applications and your TV uh, and for your last three days. However, if you want the control, which I've explained, you need to pay a particular amount. Uh, 99 for one month, uh, 4.99 for I think six months and 8.99 for the entire year. Uh, if you want to support or you want to buy this for the entire uh, for lifetime, uh, lifetime, you can go ahead and buy this for I think 2999, 3000. So um, for me, I think the free version is good. Um, however, if you're someone who really wants to uh, improve your overall parental control on your television, uh, you can try this for one month and you can go ahead and make a decision. There's a free day trial for I think three days for the first two options uh, for the monthly and half yearly and there's seven days free trial for uh, a year. So you can definitely try this and uh, if you think uh, this is something which is for you, you can definitely go ahead and uh, buy it according to your choice. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, comments regarding this video, you can let me know in the comment section. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, and uh, take care.